Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Currently motoring down, oh I don't know, the A30, no, it can't be the A33, oh I don't know what it is. Down the motorway, somewhere very, very exciting. The M4. It's the M4. So yeah, the M4 powering down it, and as you'll see, I'm not driving. It's because today I have actually employed a chauffeur to take me. Which is so like, so nice. I'm getting to that stage in my career where I just need someone to drive me around. Uh, yeah. So we're going down this neck of the woods because Wellington Horse Trials is down here. A lovely event. Oh, horse box. Not that. There we go. Very smart horse box. Maybe they're going. Um, yeah, a really nice event. Yeah, it was actually more local to where we used to live. I've competed here once. I took lovely Lara to do the under 18 championships, and she tied up whilst we we're there in a thunderstorm. And I didn't get to run cross country, which was really really sad. So, little fact for you there, guys. Um, but today, as you can see, I'm not in competition attire. We are actually going to watch Ron. And for those of you that don't know who Ron is, he is Bear's baby daddy, Bear's husband, Britannia Royal, gorgeous stallion. You should know who he is if you've watched the videos because I went to visit him all the way down in, where are they? They're like Sussex direction. Um, but today he's competing at Wellington and I thought, right, it's semi close to me, it's like three hours from me. So I've come along to watch him. Very excited. He's doing the intermediate with his lovely rider Sam. We're gonna see Annabelle, who is his owner, and yeah, basically just do an eventing vlog, but with Ron. It's gonna be a lot bigger than the eventing vlogs we do because intermediates are a lot bigger than B100, so it should be quite interesting. I'm gonna try and get as much footage as possible. If I can do any course walking, I will. Although I just kind of stick out like a sore thumb walking the course because I'm obviously not riding around an intermediate. But anyway, I'm gonna try and come up to like some of the big events and show you guys. And yeah, it should just be a lovely day. So fingers crossed that Ron and Sam do well. Remember, if you would like a Ron covering for your mare, honestly, cannot recommend this stallion enough. He's absolutely insane. He's got the temperament of a saint, which is basically why I chose him for Bear, because Bear is a bit crazy, as we know. So like, he's just so chilled and calm, like a lovely attitude towards life and work. Literally nothing like you. Um, and yeah, also super, super talented, and his mum is Headley Britannia. So can you ask for better bloodlines than a five-star winner horse? Mummy. That didn't come out very well, but you know what I'm trying to say, guys. He's absolutely lovely. A lot of thoroughbred in him. He's about 62, I want to say. Bright orange, as you'll see, hence why he's called Ron. Uh, but really, really lovely. So if you want to check out their Instagram page, it's wayfaring underscore stallions, I believe, but I will pop it up on the screen if you'd like to find it. Even if you're not looking for a covering, give it a follow because it's really nice to follow him and their other stallion, Prometheus, who's a pony stallion. Ah, oh, he's incredible as well if you've got a pony mare. Seriously, oh, check them out. Anyway, we're gonna continue bumbling down here at a snail's place. I really do need to get a better chauffeur because it's a very uh, slow and bumpy ride. But we'll see you when we get to Wellington. Yay, say bye. <laughs> bit worried about it saying tickets sold out. Dressage! Look, we can just watch from here, it'll be fine. Lovely. Okay, we've made it here, we've just gone past Dressage, and I have to shout out the nicest organisers at Wellington ever because I stupidly didn't even think to book tickets. I thought oh, I'll just buy them on the gate. Um, and it was actually like we went in and it said tickets were full and I stressed but they are so lovely and amazing that they've let us in massive shout out to Wellington would highly recommend coming next year and actually booking tickets first <laughs> because it's a lovely event and it gets sold out and you know we're gonna go and park and then go by run okie dokie it's quite 
quite a lot going on here. We've got Pony Club Champs on, uh, and then the international jumping is over there, but there's now marquees covering it. So we're gonna go and find some grob, and then go down to dressage. We've got about half an hour, I think, before he's on. So I've gotta feed the chauffeur, because he gets, they get really grumpy. <laughs> Watch me break in you falling into me, touch me. Okay, fueled up. Also had to find more layers in the car because it's actually freezing here. Um, so we're currently in the dressage warm-up and we've seen Ronnie trot past a few times. I've actually lost him, aren't they? I won't lie. Oh, there he is. You can see him there. So I'm gonna try and find Annabelle so that I don't look like a crazy person just filming him. Go, Ronnie, go. Hey, Ronnie boy. Oh, is he going in? There's Ronnie. I'm trying not to go over and be annoying and distract him because they're gonna start in about five minutes. But you can see him there. That's Sam on board, 922. <laughs> He's so handsome. You can tell me who this is, guys. Any guesses? <laughs> Should be quite obvious on account of how tall he is. Comment down below if you can tell me who this very famous Olympic rider is. Right, off Ronnie Boy goes. Fingers crossed, guys. Annoyingly, he's in the furthest arena. Good, how are you? Yeah, right. That looks lovely. He was a good boy. He was a very good boy. There, aren't we? Oh, Learning Ron. You look rather handsome, all plaited up, my dear. Uh, you good boy. Spit all up his leg. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, he's so handsome. Best of luck for show jumping. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> bye bye, Ron. Dressage is done. We've got the Pony Club's Champs dressage going on here behind us. We've just seen Flo Carter, but we we're in a bit of a rush to see um, Ronnie, so didn't manage to say hello, but hopefully we'll see her later on. Anyway, test all done, was very nice. Ron looks so smart and handsome. Oh, if only I could find a man like him. <laughs> anyway, we are, <laughs> we're heading back up to show jumping. We've decided we're gonna sort of stay out of their hair a little bit because obviously you know how stressful it can be eventing and Sam's actually got a seven month old baby as well. How she does this I do not know, it makes me look like an absolute wet wipe when I get stressed eventing doing a B90. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wander around, watch a bit of show jumping, try and walk a bit of the cross country course and then we'll get back to you with his show jumping and also update you on a dressage school when we have one.
Okay, Very so we've come up uh, to the another combination of course. Back. Trying to persuade my chauffeur to walk up here and film. So I can film the water. He's not, they're not looking too pleased. Um, anyway, this is the combination behind us now that Ron's gonna have to do. So I will film a horse going through it so you guys can see in case we don't get any footage of it later. Flags home in six, 27. No jumping, uh, no time. Uh, 29.6, so that will keep her at the moment in third. Wow. That was lovely. Okay, we have got a prime seat here by the show jumping. I was just considering going to film him warming up. However, I feel like I wouldn't make it back to this spot to film him. So, you're going to miss out on Ron warming up footage, I'm afraid, guys. But we've just seen him walk down. Very excited. And I can inform you his dressage was 31.1, which was so good in the section. I think it's leading at like 28. So like really not very much much difference. I think he's currently in ninth place. We've got Laura Collett in the section. He's obviously just got back from Tokyo, so it's like a a star-studded section. So fingers crossed for Sam and Ron. They'll be coming very shortly, so look out for the round. Okay, got Harry Mead here. Thought I'd film a little snip for you guys. Here he comes. Ooh, careful, Harry. Ooh, quite lucky there. Go on, Has. Tom McEwen here, guys. Oh, well, one of our gold medalists for Tokyo. Doing a spiffing job. Oh, look. oh that was a bit awkward. Why do they keep hitting it when I film? Come on, boy. Yay. Okay, show jumping done. He was such a good boy. Just had the last part of the triple down, which is really unlucky, actually, because he was jumping it so nicely. Literally just rubbed the last bit. We've seen a few horses, like, proper clonk them. They've stayed up, so feel bad for Ron but incredible to do the intermediate with literally just one pole so we're now out on the cross-country course and we're waiting for him to come I'm going to position my uh, chauffeur in a uh, good spot to get a video for you guys and then I'm going to try and film him you can see where this horse is coming now where is the horsey so I'm going to film him here and then over this combination fence Hopefully you can see that, guys. I can't actually see the camera screen. There we go. <laughs> for A and B. I'll get a little bit closer for you, so it's actually some good quality content. Fingers crossed for Ron, guys. We need him clear inside the time, and then I think he'll get a top 10 placing. Waiting for Ronnie Boy to come. We're at, I'm at fence four. 
and then I'm gonna run down to the water and run to the last bit. So hopefully we'll get quite a lot of footage. I'm not sure if Uneventful Life are filming here or not, because that'd been amazing to have got this whole round. But where I've positioned my uh, helper will mean that we've got like that extra combination up there, which is quite big. So fingers crossed, but we've had to swap phones, so he's filming on my phone. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to text when Sam's coming because he won't have an idea. So that's the plan. It's a bit stressful at the minute. Fingers crossed, the next horse you see will be Ron. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. So I've met three lovely young ladies here <laughs> and they're going to be on the vlog so if you guys want to introduce yourselves we've got I'm Iri and my Instagram's Equiami I'm Ava and my Equiami's Ava underscore uh, Rise XOX <laughs> Oh you've got a bit of a tongue twister there yeah I'm Matilda and my Instagram's Equiami underscore Tilly There we go guys head over and give them a follow but lovely to meet you girls Thank you <laughs> So how lovely to meet those fans. We've met so many amazing people today. I feel really bad because I've not got my camera out for all of them because it's a bit frantic, but honestly, it absolutely melts my heart when people come up and say hello. So big, big love to everyone that has. Anyway, I'm stood in front of this meaty combination here, which Ron absolutely flew through, as you will have seen. So I can now confirm he had a 31.1 dressage four faults in the show jumping and he went clear cross country but somehow managed to get two speeding penalties like he went a little bit too fast which is incredible at this level to go too fast is just mad like it's difficult to make the time and he yeah absolutely flew he's such a cross country horse which just makes him the best match in the world for bear because everyone knows that she's really spooky and really fat and slow so hopefully together we're going to breed the best amateur horse in the world so stay tuned till next may when they will be born fingers crossed for philly anyway we're going to journey back and probably get some snacks maybe get some snacks on the way home and then debrief in the car i'm not going to be that annoying person that goes into lorry park to see ron because i feel like it will be a bit awkward oh they're doing provisional results Okay, this might go on too long, so I'll check the results and then I'll get back to you as to where he placed if he did place. Just walking back now to the car, but I can confirm that Ron has come 10th in his section, which is so good. Like, intermediate's big, guys. It's mahoosive. I think the show jumping is 120. In fact, it's all 120, isn't it? Yeah, incredible. I'm so happy. And we were speaking to his owner, Annabelle, at the end, and she was saying how he's now qualified to go advanced so next year he'll step up a level and go to advance which is very exciting so if you enjoyed this video comment down below and maybe i will be able to go and watch him at one of his advance next year very exciting anyway say goodbye to wellington you can kind of see the house you can't really see the house it's nice house anyway 
um, and we will catch up very briefly in the car. I'll give you a little snack call as to what we get for lunch. How about that? Alrighty, heading home. It's been a bit of a nightmare because Wellington is near Reading and Reading Festival's been on. So we did try and pull over to get food, but it was so busy and we were scared of getting COVID. So we left, but we've now pulled over fairly close to home to get a McDonald's. I've gone for a chicken select meal with some chips, but I wasn't allowed to go back and get ketchup. So not really my chips because they're a bit dry. And my chauffeur has gone for a burger looking thing. I'm getting some bad vibes over here, guys. Um, you know, had such an amazing day. It was so nice to see Ron and Annabelle and Sam. Really, really lovely. And I misinformed you earlier. He actually finished ninth, not tenth. So one place higher than we originally thought, which was so, so good. I'm so impressed with him. I think if he had finished on his dressage, he would have been fourth or fifth which is amazing given how many five-star riders there were in that section. So absolutely buzzed and super duper excited for him to have a baby with Bear. We've predicted end of April slash early May will be Bear's due date. So very exciting. Maybe before that I'll go and watch him in another event. Or maybe not to be quite busy. I've had some prep. Um, but if you enjoyed this, do let me know down below and tell me if you'd like me to go and follow him at another event and go to maybe one of his advanced next year. Um, I could do more of like a behind the scenes -y, going to the lorry and stuff. It's just Wellington's such a big event. It's kind of quite hard to get into the sort of lorry park bit because we're obviously just spectators. So yeah, let me know. Hope you enjoyed watching. Can't speak anymore, a bit sleepy. Live, laugh, love you. See you soon. Bye. Say bye.